wanted to talk to you a little bit about something I'm seeing, which are post-COVID brains. And I just was featured in an article, which I will drop in the link below by very, the very well. And in my article, we talked about the neurological and mental health symptoms associated with a post-COVID brain. And for those of the, you that know me, I do QEG brain maps and uh, neurofeedback and biofeedback and PEMFs. But, you know, because I do these QEG brain maps, I am seeing a lot of brains that are impacted by COVID. So let's talk about some of these symptoms. What are they? You know, should you be concerned? So lots of people right now across America um, are being impacted by COVID. Some people are symptomatic and some people are asymptomatic. And I'm going to tell you, in both cases, I am seeing neurological, cognitive impact, mental health impact post-COVID. Um, what am I talking about? What is Dr. Roseanne talking about? I'm talking about difficulties with focus, number one, really having that brain fog. Um, and I'm also seeing anxiety. I'm seeing fatigue. I'm seeing an uptick in depression. And these aren't just situational. These are actually things that I am seeing in a brain map. And I have a brain map of somebody that you can't see. Um, and just so that you can see what this is, and this is what a brain map looks like. Um, and this is the brain map that shows me over the structure, but I'm actually able to see how you know, what a brain, how it's communicating. Um, so what is a QEG brain map is probably what I should tell you, but uh, people come in, we put a cap on, and it measures the surface electrical activity of the brain. And I'm actually able to see over the structure, so what is the brain doing? And I'm able to see the neural networks and, and the neural networks tell us how the brain is communicating. It's really pretty amazing. It takes, completely takes the guesswork out of the diagnostics, you're able to see anxiety, depression, ADD, Lyme disease, all kinds of things. So this is a, a brain map that I wanted to share because it really is very apparent. You don't have to know anything about, about a brain map. But what happened in this client who was doing really well um, with his focus and anxiety is COVID came in and actually completely shut off his functioning in his brain. Um, it doesn't mean he's less intelligent. It meant that he wasn't processing properly. Everything was sluggish. He had what we call that brain fog. His attention was off. He was taking a really long time to do work that was easy for him. Um, and he was really feeling anxious. Uh, he was starting to get a lot of anxiety because of his sluggish processing. Um, and this is actually not uncommon uh, for what I see for my pans and pandas and Lyme folks. Uh, viruses often come in, uh, and I've done thousands of brain maps, and I probably have the biggest database of people with infectious disease anywhere. Um, and that's one of my biggest areas of expertise for people who know me. Uh, infectious disease will come in and literally shut off. So in this case, blue means it's off. Um, in his case, he was more than standard, two standard deviations outside the norm and how he was processing. So why am I telling you this? This is really a clear cut case of somebody with a known case of COVID, cognitive processing. Um, I'm seeing people who are unsure if they had COVID or not, but were doing really well um, and coming or coming into me and getting a brain map. Um, here's the great news we were able to turn back on his brain functioning uh, with doing some neurofeedback and he normalized, which is green. Uh, so he's doing incredibly well and super happy to hear that and know that he's doing really well. So when should you be worried about cognitive processing issues or whatnot? So if you suspect you have um, infectious disease and you are struggling with cognitive processing, anxiety, or whatever, you certainly can get a QEG brain map. That's something we do. I'm certainly an expert in that, and people are coming. Um, but 
what I would do is not ignore the symptoms, really try to make sure you're eating really optimally, getting your lymphs moving, doing all those amazing things to help get your brain back online. That's really, really important. So make sure you're doing that. Um, and when in doubt, get a QEG brain map. And you know, I help people re reduce and reverse their mental health symptoms every day. Take care of yourself and stay healthy.